Today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Alpha 3 model rocket. This is everything that comes in the package. You have the rocket engine mount, you have the rocket itself, you have the nose cone, the rocket tube, and the fins. Um, you have an elastic shot cord, the parachute, and you also have some stickers to put on your rocket. Um, this is an older version. This one's from 1999. I checked it on the package. And if you buy the new ones, they won't come, the new ones won't come with the recovery wadding. Um, you can buy those separately. Um, so right now I'm going to show you how to build the rocket engine mount. Okay, what you're gonna need for this step is you're going to need a pen or a pencil, an X-Acto knife, a ruler, and some super glue. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take the mount tube and, and uh, a pen and the ruler, and you're going to measure um, in two places. You're, you're gonna measure one inch from the end, from one end of, of, of the tube. So you're gonna measure one inch in, and then you're also gonna measure uh, two and a quarter inches in. All right, and then once you're all done with that, you're gonna take your X-Acto knife and cut a little slit in the two, two and a quarter inch tube. And then you're going to take your engine hook, which is this piece right here. You're gonna put it in the slit like that. Um, after that, you are going to take the green split adapter ring, which is this one right here. And you're going to put it on the end right here, but first you need to glue it. So you take your glue, and you glue the outside. Then you want to hold that for at least 30 seconds. Okay, once that is glued down, you are going to take some glue and you're, you're going to glue around the one uh, inch mark and you're going to attach your retainer ring to it. So you're going to glue around the one inch mark. Like that. And then you're going to take your retainer ring and put it on. And then you let that dry. All right, once you've allowed that to, to dry, you're going to take the engine mount tube and stick it into the back of the fins, like this. And then you're going to take your glue, glue the top of the engine mount, and then you're going to, to take your adapter ring and put it on. And then you're just going to let that sit for about 30 seconds and let it dry. All right, after you, you do that, uh, what you want to do is you're going to want to apply the decals to the rocket engine tube. In the instructions, it says to go ahead and to put on the launch lug first before the decals, but you don't want to do that if you want to put on decals. You want to put the decals on right now before the launch lug, otherwise, um, yeah, um, it's not gonna look like the package if you want it to look like the package. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the decals and um, we'll go from there. All right, once you have applied the decals to it, um, you want to attach the launch lug uh, right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some glue and we're going to attach the launch lug to the bottom of the rocket tube. And then you're going to let that dry for about 30 seconds. All right, once you are done with that and uh, finished uh, letting that dry, you're going to attach the rocket tube to the fins 
and you want it in like this so that way the launch lug is not lining up with one, with one of the fins. So what you need to do is you need to glue the inside right here with super glue and then attach it. and then you're gonna let that dry for about 30 seconds. While you're waiting for that to dry, uh, this is where you can make the shock cord. Um, what you need is the shock cord mount, which is attached to the instructions. If you want to have more shock cords in the future, and if you're planning on making more rockets, go ahead and make a copy of this right now. Um, otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and cut this out, and we're going to glue it to the shock cord string. All right, once you have that cut out, you're gonna to wanna to flip over the shock cord mount like this. Uh, so you want the skinny end at the top and the bigger end at the bottom. You're gonna take your glue. And you're going to glue the entire back of this. Then you're going to attach the cord Uh, to the back of the shock cord mount. And then while that's still wet, you're gonna wanna fold it along the dotted lines on the other side. So you're gonna wanna fold it in once, then you're gonna wanna fold it in again. Then you're gonna wanna let that dry for about 30 seconds. All right, once you have um, allowed the shot cord mount to finish drying, you're going to attach the shot cord mount on the inside of the rocket body tube. And like, like that, about one and a half inches down into the tube. So you're gonna take glue, you're gonna glue the back of this, and then you're gonna put the shot cord mount about one and a half inches down into the, into the tube. a lot of glue, glue it. And then you're gonna to wanna to hold it in there for about 30 seconds. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do after you finish uh, letting that dry is you wanna attach the end of the shock cord um, to the nose cone. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this screw and you're going to screw it into the nose cone. Like that and then you're going to want to tie a double knot like that Okay, so the next thing that you, you wanna do is you want to attach the parachute to the nose cone. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your string and make sure all three strings are flush with each other. And you're gonna make a little, and you're gonna pinch it like this. Then you're gonna put it through the needle. And then once you have it through the needle, you're going to loop the parachute through the string. And then that'll tie it, tie it down to itself and it should look something like that. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be, to be putting in the recovering wadding into the rocket body tube. So get your recovery wadding and then 
you're going to roll it up into balls like this. And you want at least three to four of these in, uh, inside the tube. All right, that's four. I'm gonna uh, put in one more just in case. And the purpose of the recovery wadding is to protect the chute when the when the end of the rocket uh, ignites and shoots out the rocket, or not the rocket, uh, shoots out the parachute um, and the nose cone. Okay, then these you can put off to the side. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be folding the parachute and putting it inside the rocket tube. So what I do is I like to pull the parachute tight. Oops. This can be a little bit tricky. I pull it. Well, the first thing I do is I fold it in half, then I fold it in half again, and then I fold it um, downwards in half, like that, and then I roll it into a ball. And then after that, you tie the string loosely around the parachute. You put the end into the nose cone. Then you put the rest into the body. All right, once you have the parachute packed into the rocket, um, it should look something like that. Um, and the next step is to prepare the rocket engine and we will and I will go ahead and show you how to do that in the next step. All right, this is your rocket motor. Um, th this is the motor, this is the fuse, which, which ignites the motor, and then this is the plug. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your fuse, and you're gonna bend it, and then you're going to place it into the rocket engine like this. And then you're going to take the plug, and you're going to plug it, and then, once you, and then that's all set. So once you have that all set, you take your rocket and the motor, then you put, and then you put the rocket engine into the back of the rocket like that. And now you are all set to fly your rocket.